Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Dr. Fermin Diaz from Singapore. Hi Dr. Diaz, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Thank you for being here. As an HR leader, he has been the head of HR for two large multinational companies in Asia Pacific and in Latin America. Currently at the Council National Council of Social Service in Singapore, and he aims to improve the capabilities and the capacity of the social service sector in the country. He's an adjust professor of human resources at SMU and NTU, and he is also a co-author of three books. He currently serves as the Board of Institute of HR Professionals, where he is the Dean of HR Studies and also the Chair the assessment committees. He also serves on the World Work Global Advisory Board. And finally, he was named recently the top HR influencer in Asia, and is a frequent speaker at local, regional, and global areas. So Dr. Diaz, my first question for you is, as an HR leader and as, as an HR influencer, what are your thoughts about chat GDP and how is that going to influence or make it better for job seekers when they're looking for a job? Actually, I think ChatGPT Chat GPT is a great tool for job seekers. Um, ChatGPT should help you uh, specifically to uh, write a better resume. Mm -hmm. uh, it can basically take the job profile of the company that you're applying to you can take your own CV and uh, feed it both to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to rewrite your resume so that it better reflects your skills um, uh, in line with, uh, with what the job is looking for. So it will help you write a resume that is more aligned to, to the job mm -hmm. you see. You can also ask ChatGPT to uh, look at the person that you are going to interview with. Let's say you copy their LinkedIn uh, profile, mm -hmm. and you feed it to ChatGPT, and you ask ChatGPT things like, how should I prepare for an interview with this person? Or mm -hmm. "How? Uh, what kinds of questions should I ask this person? Um, so it can help you do that. And one last thing that ChatGPT can do, which I think is quite unique, is you can ask ChatGPT to practice the interview with you. You can tell ChatGPT to take the role of the interviewer uh, and have ChatGPT ask you questions. Then you answer the questions. ChatGPT asks you the next question. You answer the question. And at the end of the interview, you can also ask ChatGPT, how well does ChatGPT think you did during the interview? Mm -hmm. It gives you instant feedback. So these are three very easy to use and yet powerful tools for anybody looking for a job uh, that they can use with ChatGPT. But do you think that a lot of times career cultures in universities or um, personally, they feel that ChatGPT is going to take over some of their roles or at the same time, yes, we, we ChatGPT will give you resumes or rewrite resume, but we also have to kind of personalize it and not just copy paste it as it is because yeah, there has to be kind of your personality also has to show. Right. Yes, I think, I think ChatGPT gives you a draft that then you have to uh, rewrite to fit your your style. That's absolutely true. Uh, so yes, whatever ChatGPT Chat GPT is actually usually a very good start. In my own experience, ChatGPT I, I use it between eighty and ninety five percent of what I get back from ChatGPT is ready to go, and I usually do add a little bit mm -hmm. of my own. Um. The other question you asked, whether people will lose their jobs over ChatGPT. Um, yeah, some people will lose their jobs over ChatGPT and, and other open AI and generative AI. AI. I, that's also going to be true. But uh, in the main, I would say this, Amha, um, it, it isn't ChatGPT you should be worried about. It is not knowing ChatGPT that you should be worried about. You, you will lose your job to somebody that knows how to use uh, open AI technologies better than you. And do you think that by using chat GDP, some students like their critical thinking or their ability to write better essays or paragraphs will be diminished? Uh, yes, uh, that's likely to happen. The same way that when 
calculators were introduced, uh, people were not as good as at adding and multiplying. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that's uh, the price to pay for progress. Yeah. Um, in reality, like you were saying earlier, it's taking something that the machine gives you and improving upon it um, that that you want to do. I, I recently did an experiment um, doing this. I, I, I've written many things using ChatGPT, but yeah. this is the first thing I've written with ChatGPT um, that is going out for public consumption. So this is actually, um, well, I'm, I'm using uh, two other co-writers actually, mm -hmm. but I wrote a large portion of my, my uh, section uh, using ChatGPT. Uh, and uh, what was interesting is I gave it to my other two co-writers and uh, well, first I went through it myself and added some things. And then my other two co-writers went also through it and added some things. And the end product is still probably 80% ChatGPT, but it is better than what we got from ChatGPT. Thank you for those great tips, Dr. Diaz. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Dr. Diaz a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis kind of a journey with us. You can like, share all the videos. So tune in next time for another great question with Dr. Diaz.